Hey guys, I'm Pocketech here. Today I'm going to show you how you can transfer all your phone data from Android to iPhone. So we are going to start. So if you want to transfer all your data from Android device to iPhone, it's a, there is easiest way to do so. So the number one thing is if you have, if you bought brand new iPhone, you have to just go to your Android and then start transfer your data. But if you already you start using your iPhone, then maybe something happen or you wish you can you want to switch or to, um fully to Android to iPhone. So or if you are Android device, something bad happened it, you want to transfer your data, you can do so. So as you can see, my my Android device, um, it is screen start broken. So I need to transfer all my data before I send it to fix it. So if you want to transfer your data, you need to go to setting on iPhone, and then go to general on iPhone, on setting general, and then go way down and see transfer. Or erase iPhone. Type it and then type erase all content and data. So as you can see, it will show you all the data that is on iPhone. As you can see, the app and everything. So you need to click continue and type erase iPhone. But before that, if you don't back up your all data you need to back up all your data on your iphone before start this action because if you erase your iphone without backing up your data you will lose it permanently so it, you have to take note on it so tap continue and tap erase iphone and then put your iphone password after you put your iphone password you can see now you have the option to upload all your data to iCloud to your cloud before you erase it. Then after you transfer all your Android data, then you can back in off your iPhone data to match them together. So if you don't have important things on your iPhone, so you can tap erase. Or if you have some important things you need to tap finish upload, then erase. So now I tap erase because I already backing up all my important data on my iPhone. So I am going to tap erase. So the next thing is that you need to put your Apple ID password. To do so, you need to connect to your Wi-Fi or you need to turn on cellular data for this action to work. And then put your Apple ID password. So after you put your Apple ID password, then click this turn off. Click it. As you can see, it will start processing. And now, after it is confirm your Apple ID password, then it will go into arrest all the iPhone data directly. As you can see, after you tap the arrest and put your Apple ID password and then tap erase and then now you can see all my iPhone data is now about erase it. Then after we finish this process, we need to transfer all our data from Android, this Android to this iPhone. So after it is finished erasing, then I will come back and show you how you can start transpire that data. So after you erase your iPhone and then it will show you this page, that means all the data on your iPhone has been erased. And also, this is the same case if you buy brand new iPhone. This is the way you can start to transfer all your data. Imagine you already using Android devices, then you buy brand new iPhone. So this from starting this point is the way you can transfer all the data from your iPhone to from your Android, I mean from your Android to iPhone. So just type here and choose the language and region. After you choose the language and your region, then type continue. You notice that 
after you, you erase your iPhone, you need to do something like uh, choose those. So this is the way you can start. But as you can see now, setting up with another device. So this means if you already own an iPhone and then you have you already are Apple ID on that iPhone, it can start scan it and then through that another iPhone you can send in your Apple ID. But we don't need this. We need to start from fresh and transfer all our data from Android to this iPhone. So we need to set up without another device. And then we need we click continue and then we need to connect to our Wi-Fi network. We need to put this password on this Wi-Fi. As you can see, we also need to connect the same Wi-Fi wi -Fi on our Android and iPhone. And then also we need to plug in into charging before we start transfer. But before that, let us connect to our Wi-Fi. As you can see now, I already connect my iPhone with my Wi-Fi. Also, I connected it with my Android on my Wi-Fi. All are on the same Wi-Fi as you can see now. So now it will take a few minutes to activate iPhone and then we are good to go and start transfer data. So we have to wait for some times before it finish setting off the iPhone. So now we click continue here on iPhone. And then set up maybe either set up for myself in here. We can create or we can set it off later. Now I set up my and then I need to select passwords. We create our password. Let us create any password that we, we want to use for this experiment. So I choose the password that maybe it's easier for this experiment, but I don't recommend you to create an easy password for your iPhone or Android device. So this is the page which we want to see on our iPhone and this is the starting point for transfer all our data from our Android device to iPhone. So we need to put them into charging before start this process. So we need to put into charging as you can see. I put both of them on charge and then I need to continuously from where we set up for myself and then here I can choose if you want backing off your data from iCloud from another iPhone or from Mac or PC you can choose all but for now we want to transfer all our data from Android device so I click Android device so as you can see it recommend me to download this application ios move from android if you click this barcode icon and then it will show you some backup and go to your android camera and then it will de detect this barcode as you can see and send you to google play store type it and now you can see it directs you to Google Play Store to download this application, which is called Moot iOS, which is application specifically from Apple. It is used for use from Android to transfer your data from Android to iPhone. So if you done so, you can go directly to Google Play Store and download it directly and search it and download it so as you can see i am already downloaded and then i'm going to open it so in this case i need to tap agree here 
and then on android i need to continue and then agree again and then send automatically and then continue okay before it is a continue i need to go to on iphone also and then tap from android and then continue and then in here on android as you can see i need to tap continue here and then i need to put this pass password or this code to android device in order to connect together need to tap this is one time password as you can see after i put it it is start free for it so as you can see now it already we see each other and then already they connected so in here you can choose all the things that you want to transfer from your android devices to your iphone so select you can select calendar turn on it and google account and photo library and apps if you want and then display setting and accessibility and if you another files you can add them manually as you can see you can select it continue continue in here as you can see now it will about it is about to start transferring so as you can see it is importing all the data all my data from my android device to iphone so if it is say transfer complete don't click on wait until the iphone finish collect that data from your android until it is say finish then you can click down in here so as you can see it is transferring all my data on from android to iphone as you can see now the transfer is completed on my iphone so i need to tap continue in here and then i have to put my apple id i need to sign in my apple id and then let let me sign in with my apple id and then now i can tap done on android and then now I can move it out. I finish it on my Android and also I can remove charging. As you can see now, I can put my Apple ID and then I am good to go. After I put my, after I put my Apple ID and password, now I click continue. I need to click continue. As you can see now, it say app and data from android here is everything set up you had on your other iphone so this is mean that i only have app and data from my android so i need to continue because i already transfer all the data from android to iphone so now as you can see now it say welcome to my iphone so as you can see now, all the apps that I have on my Android, now it is on here. So what is going to happen is that I need to download all those apps directly from my Apple App Store or it will automatically download them. As you can see, because I am already connected to the Internet, let me show you some quick review about this application so as you can see in here i have some photo inside this samsung so i need to show them in here as you can see in here the same photo in here are also the same in here as you can see I have three photo inside this Android and these are those as you can see. So basically all the data, all photos, all the information from my Android device is now transferred to my iPhone.
So that's all, guys. What do you think about this video? Let me know inside the comment section. By the way, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share it to friends and family, and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you. See you very soon. Abba Poketech sign out.